right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. Bro, y'all went crazy with the 211 comments today, but bro, I'm not gonna yesterday. Not gonna lie to y'all, man. I thought I was the only one that was old as hell and 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 used to see people partake in the, in the you know what I'm talking about? They call it the crackhead beer, aka the 211. But hey, man, you know, now that they done off road it to, to fruit juices and stuff, it is what it is, boy. But they saying two of them things I have you on, ya. Man, that's what I heard. Anyway, man, like I said, appreciate y'all showing so much love on that joint and all the likes and all the comments and stuff. Let's see if we can get up to that 300 likes again today. But check it out. Today, man, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about the patch. The patch came yesterday on current Zen and next gen. And uh, a lot of people were not impressed. I noticed a lot of changes. I'll let y'all know what I noticed and all that good stuff, man. But, uh, you know, we just gonna get right into it. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video because it helps us get to that oh so coveted 100K. And uh, like I said, man, we'll talk to y'all on the other side. Let's just get right into it. Nino! You make it to C25, that's OG stats. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Yo, the first thing I want to talk to y'all about is this, man. Look, I saw this right here. Y'all can't tell me that this ain't the hard, that ain't some of the hardest, the hardest doggone attire that they done never put out there, man. So I get on here and I say, look, at 2K done actually done something good. They say, yo, we want to give you guys a chance to get some hard drip. Go there. Go to the, uh, you know, go to the, go, I want, it's the year of the ox, baby. I want to be, I want to be the ox. And we ain't talking about the ox cord either. We talking about the year of the ox. I want the face mask. I want the doggone, you know what I'm talking about? The shorts, the uh, the shirt. I want all of that, man. So it says stop over by Alter Ego for a limited time. I go to Alter Ego and pull up and say, okay, I'm about to get the drip. I said, I'm about to get the drip. That's, that's real drip right there. Came through dripping. Drip, drip. You know what I'm talking about? This is what I decided to do, man. Let's really speed this up. I get on in here and it's locked. I can't even get it. Now, I don't know if you can get it on current Zen or not. Let me know if you're able to get this on current Zen, but it says no items found in the store. And then it's the same thing likewise for the, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just not gonna let me get it. And then look, we pull up with the with the uh, Valentine's Day joint and the Valentine's Day joint says the same thing. Now we got two days to Valentine's Day. Are they just gonna open it? Is it just on Valentine's Day that we gonna be able to get it or what, man? Like, it's the year of the ox. I wanna be out there with my ox blood colored Porsche, man. What are you talking about, man? The blood, I would say, oh, the, blood, the rims match, of course, blood hit his team. They reminded me of them. Like, let me know what song from that rest from, man. If y'all know who the, y'all already know my boys that is the king lyricist. But anyway, I thought I was gonna come out there dripping. So now I gotta look like I'm a uh, preppy, preppy guy. And uh, you know, just the same thing, still represent the, um, you know, Cobra Commanders, AKA the South City Vipers. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Is that just something that just happened or happened to y'all or, or whatever, man. And also who's your favorite rapper um, from back in the day? Uh, and then, you know, right now, cause I mean, you know, my favorite rapper been Andre 3000 since the beginning, but right now I'm rocking with Don Tripp. So let me know who you rocking with. But anyway, let's get past that, man. I just wanted to touch on that. Look, big patch yesterday. A lot of people don't rock with it. My boy T say he don't rock with it. I got a lot of people that say they really don't rock with it. I'm rocking with the patch. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I see that they touched a few things. I'm going to touch on a few things that they touched on. The first thing we're going to address is the Zens. People said the Zen is gone in our current Zen. Mike, I don't know, man. I don't know if it was a genjutsu or what, or if they were just trying to lead people astray or trying to figure out this and that. But the thing is, NBA 2K2 has already told us that they can only patch Zens so much. In current Zen, uh, with, you know, Zen strike packs, whatever you want to call it, they can only patch those scripts so much. And that's just because people, you have to be able to, uh, you know, you got to be able to account for the human element in all of this. Now, what I'm saying with the human element is this. When you're playing these games, humans can hit almost every time, but they can't hit with 100% accuracy, right? So the game already makes you shoot full whites when you have hit 100%. Like you might hit 100%, um, uh, you know what I'm saying, 100% of the time. Even if you're hitting 100% of the time, you're gonna get that right there every now and then. You're gonna get a, a slightly early, slightly late. The game is just gonna give it to you because they're not going to let you green every shot. That's just how it goes. Now, 
with the uh with that being said the problem with current zen is when you play that game it doesn't matter where you shoot the ball from 2k 2 is already told you. you can be shooting the free throw line or you can be shooting from half court the timing on your jump shot is the exact same the only variable is whether or not your guy can hit that shot or not and 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 that's after you get the, you know into the 90s or whatever if you under if you're a play shot or something obviously you're gonna be able, oh hoo, hoo, hoo. Shit out here, nigga. you got it you got to do that we're gonna talk about the interior defense in a second but like i said the biggest thing is that no matter where you're shooting from if you are within your range if you're within your range you're going to hit the shot with, you, know, you can hit it with 100% accuracy dang near. And the problem, the only issue is whether or not you time it properly. So because that's the case, the vibration was just against Jutsu. They told y'all they were shooting off vibration. The vibration, the only thing vibration did was made it so you can shoot fades as well as, um, you can shoot pretty much any shot with the butt. So that's what vibration did. Now what people are doing is, I mean, they're just saying, hey, I'll just quick stop and I'll shoot it. Because the only vari variation right now is between the fade and the standing shot. So when, you had, when they had the excellent script, it was going by the vibration. The reason that it was working by vibration uh, is because as soon as it detected that the vibration was go, it would release the button. And whether you're shooting a fade or whether you're shooting a standing shot, it was gonna, it was, it, it was pretty much perfectly timed unless it was really contested. Then you're gonna miss the shot. Now what they're doing with the excellent script, they modified the excellent script, and it's just like because the timing on all the shots is the same. It, that's where we are right now. All the timing on the side is the same, so they just it's the uniform timing. So because of that, they just find a good jump shot, find the most consistent jump shot, and then they just set the timing, uh, account for the online lag, and boom, you're good. That that's the that's that's really the that's really the thing. That's what made the vibration, I guess, was so good because the vibration took the variable of the online lag out. As soon as it detected the vibration, it was letting it go, and boom, if it lets it go within a, a certain threshold, then it's gonna be green. So that's why the excellent scripts are still working. That's why the Zens are not gonna be gone on uh current zen and that's why people have just just said you know what we're not even worried about it well we got that that's why you can't really zen on on um on on next gen because when you try to do it on next gen the the doggone the uh the shot aiming is already inconsistent at best on next gen you can do it but it's, it's, it's inconsistent at best and there's a different shot timing everywhere that you shoot on the court so like so it's like the Zens are gone, but it's only partially the case, I guess is the, is the way to say that, bro. And it's really crazy because it's like, like it's gone, but it's not. But do we even really care? Like at this point, do we really care if it's gone? Do we want it to be? I, I really don't know, man. T Mizzle put out a video yesterday, an awesome video. Uh, link to it. It's going to be in the description. And he's just talking about how people are cheating and people are saying, yo, I got a Zen, man. Should I use it? Is it okay to use it? Is it frowned upon in the community? And people are like, nah, shoot, I'm going to use mine. And you know, it just is what it is. They can get mad if they want to. And so it's like one of those things where I, I, don't, I don't get it. 2K is trying to do everything that they can to patch it and keep that game. But from what I can tell, the 2K community likes cheating. And they want to be, they want the Zen. And, and, and look, that game is more popular than this game. And is it because of the Zen? Or is it just because that game is a better game? I know it can't be a better game because everybody was hollering about that game was trash. And then they said, I'm not even going to play this game again. They stopped playing that game early. And then when this game comes out, they tell y'all to make these bills. They made them wrong, and instead of just admitting they wrong like like I did, they, they, I'm just gonna abandon the game. So you know it is what it is. On the next gen, man. But let me know what y'all think, man. Do you think? Do you know somebody that uses a Zen? Are they still able to use it? Um, if you had a Zen, would you use it? Like I told y'all, bro. There's one thing that I would use a Zen for, and like I said, it, it ain't no online play. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I would not use it for nothing online. Not even gonna lie to you. Because, I, I, like me, I can miss, I look at it like this, I can miss by myself. If I miss even one time with the Zen, I'm going to be like, bro, no, I can't do this. So, I can miss by myself. So, it definitely is what it is. I wouldn't do it for nothing online. You know what I mean? Doing something offline. You know what I'm talking about? If I, if I could get my hands on one. But I ain't paying no $300 for no damn Zen. It's supposed to be $80. Man, I ain't about to do that. Anyway, up next, bro, check it out. The, um... Next thing that we're talking about, a lot of people don't rock with the patch, man. Like I said, T. Miller said he don't really rock with it. Um, a lot of things that I'm seeing that are different. Error codes are still there. They're few and far between, but, you know, they're less. Uh, file corrupt is still there. It's few and far between, though. It's not as much. But um, 
they they did move forward. The main thing that it looks like they, they changed was the patch, uh, the fades. The fades, it's laughable now when somebody try to fade. Like if you're really good, you can probably still fade, but it really doesn't matter because 2K already told you that they can they can sit there and they can tone it down or tick it down or scale it back or whatever. So if you're good at fading, you, to this week you might not be good at fading. Next week, I'm not even going to lie to you. You might be terrible at fading because they can change it now and they don't have to do anything at all in order to change it other than a little quick hot fix. So with that being the case, if if you're not happy with what phase are right now, don't worry. They can adjust it and they can move it here, move it there. Let me know down down low in the description. I mean, let me know in the uh, comment section. Do y'all like phase? Do y'all want them to be back? Do y'all think they nerfed them too hard? Do they need to be nerfed even harder? So if they're good where they are, they nerfed them too hard, or they or they need to be nerfed even harder. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Me, I don't care. It doesn't bother how we play the game uh, one bit. And the way that we play the game, bro, we play the game. We take wide open shots, uh, go to the rim and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Now I will tell you this one thing that they did test that I can tell you um, that I know for 100% sure. Clamps, they buff defense, but a lot of people wouldn't know it because of the way that they buff defense. Clamps is magnetic now. If you have your defensive assist above like five or 10, you're probably feeling yourself being pulled toward the man. Uh, off ball pest, a lot stronger now. Um, Actually, what I think what, what they did with clamps is what okay. So there used to be a trick that you had to use in order to make clamps work. When I would get so I would get in front of somebody, if the clamps wouldn't work, I would spam left trigger or I would spam right trigger, depending on if I wanted to catch up with my spam right trigger. If I wanted to just clamp more, I would spam left trigger, and that would let me get down. And you and you know what I'm saying. So that's what I would do in order to make my clamps kick in. Now clamps is kicking in automatically. So when I was doing that yesterday, I was actually letting people go or what have you. So that's one thing. Another thing, off-ball pest actually is giving you really good animations now. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, off-ball pest wasn't working. It, it almost seemed like it, it was just nothing. Like, it was a trash badge. It was a waste of things, uh, other than if you know the secret juice that it gives you. And, uh, you know, I, I couldn't make it work. Now it's working. You're able to deny cuts and do, do things a lot better. And if you have interior, bro, people are missing inside a lot more. I got strength and I got interior. When I'm trailing somebody like that, Nine times out of 10 now, I would say six times out of 10. I'm not gonna say nine times out of 10 because I got 70 interior, but it's not overpowered. But most of the time, if I'm trailing somebody like that, they're missing the layup or it's giving me some type of crazy animation where I'm like locking on to them or pushing them out of the layup and it's not a foul or something like that. So the defense appears to have been buffed all of us got 95 perimeter, so you probably noticed that on the perimeter, you're probably feeling a little bit more slidey. Maybe I'm just delayed or whatever, but I felt really slidey in the park. I felt really magnetic toward my guy. Um, I really don't know what it was that was doing that. But I think it was the clamps badge, but I can't be sure because, like I said, I got to play in the wreck or something where I'm not where I'm not uh, sliding at all. So I'll let y'all know about that. But uh, interior defense, it used to be if one person was down there, they had a good chance to miss. Now, if two of us are down there with 70 plus uh, interior, they're missing almost 100% of the time. It's, it's high 90s where they're missing. If one person is down there, you can probably dunk on him. If two people down there with the interior, you're not dunking on them. And so, like I said, like they did buff some things, they did change some things, but if you don't have interior on your bill, you're not gonna notice. It's like the difference between if you got three people, I'm seeing three people coming over and that's 25 interior defense a piece, that's 75 total. I don't know if that's gonna be enough, but when you got three people coming over or two people coming over and Brute got 70, I got 70, that's 140 interior defense, they're, they're missing that, like I said, almost at 100% clip. Um, it's very high. It's much more noticeable than it was to me last time. And like when I'm catching people, when they try to run in and dunk on me, I'm getting animations like centers were getting where they like just put their hand in your chest and deny you from uh, dunking or whatever. And then, uh, uh, so it, it does seem like they did buff interior defense and stuff like that. But if you don't have it, then you wouldn't notice it. So I think it's... um. Do I think it's cool? Right. Or whatever like that, man. I don't I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Do y'all think they should buff the interior across the board? Or only for the people that got high interior? Like, I know T got 50 interior or something like that. So I don't know. I don't know if he noticed the difference last night. Like he said, he said he's not really rocking with the uh thing because he feel like little Timmy 2569 can still beat you and uh and have relatively little skill or what have you. I'm watching Delayed. Delayed is out here beating people, but like he said, he's saying the same thing that I'm saying that he feels like clamps 
is uh is a lot stronger right now and it's actually magnetizing you to your guy and uh like brute said when he's going to the rim if somebody's trailing him it used to be if a center was trailing him regardless if they had uh interior or not he wasn't missing the dunk now he's missing that dunk a lot more consistently it's just like i'm one of those people like i do network and i do uh program and i do all of that stuff so i am hypersensitive to changes that happen and because i'm hypersensitive to changes that happen uh, you know, when I'm playing video games, when I'm working on computers, when I'm doing anything, I'm hypersensitive. So the smallest little detail that changes, I normally pick it up because I'm always looking for a pattern. And then if a small detail changes, I'm like, wait a minute, that's different than, than what happened yesterday. So that's probably why I'm picking it up. Um, like I said, man, some people probably gonna have to make new bills because, oh yeah, blinders, blinders is not working on running shots anymore, it doesn't appear. It looks like it's only for the set shots which like I like Bruce said, that's probably gonna be tough for the uh, Pro-Am people because that's the only way they can really get shots off and stuff like that. But we're gonna play in the rec. We're gonna be streaming on Twitch today. Make sure y'all come by. I will put up a video when I'm doing it. If y'all want that Call of Duty video, get this video to 300 likes. I'm dropping the Call of Duty video where I dropped the 40 piece. I went 40 and nine straight carrot them boys, man. And uh, let me know if y'all rocking with the patch or if you're not rocking with the patch, man. And um, you know, we're gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Town. And in the words of more buckets, guys, please. Oh my nuts. <laughs> guys, please. Guys, please.